uh, as part of the realignment of your priorities um, of your position at BUC that occurred at the end of 2015, you described special projects that you envisioned to expand BUC's mission to help the less fortunate in our community. Can you tell us about the genesis of these projects and where you see them taking BUC? We've needed to put most of our energies for a couple of years now into the development of the building project. When any church undertakes a project of that magnitude, you got to funnel all the energy there. Uh, that's going to come to a conclusion, and I think it invites us to, uh, now that we've got our house in order, to look beyond our house to our neighbors and how we can be a good neighbor uh, and a supportive neighbor. And so the chance to now uh, draw on all those energies and send them uh, beyond the walls of BUC just is a great opportunity for us. Um, and specifically what I want us to have us think about doing is to take um, the gifts of music that are in this congregation that have been in this congregation since its very beginning when BUC was first organizing and the first uh, program element put in place was a choir. That's a statement that ever since BUC started, music has been central to understanding who we are. And so to take our the music gifts that are in this congregation in staff and volunteers and programming and let that be the driver of what we offer to uh, the community around us seems like it could open up an array of possibilities for our creative energies and ways to give to um, particularly uh, parts of our uh, parts of the neighbors uh, neighborhoods that have not had access to uh, music because just simply struggling to uh, get through the next day has needed to consume all of their energies. So what I see us doing is uh, talking with the Baldwin Center about expanding what we offer there instead of it having be a a few days during the summer, would they be open to having us come there on a regular basis over a period of time? Uh, to go beyond the Baldwin Center and either at WHRC or in partnership with another school uh, to bring some music programming there where funds have not allowed it to be possible. Um, I also want to see us think of what we have here at BUC as something that is just simply too good to keep to ourselves and have asked the membership committee in partnership with our, our music staff and volunteers to think of ho offering on a regular basis special evening events that include great music, some really good food, and an introduction to what the church is about as a different kind of music a different kind of membership programming than a membership class or a brochure, but something that is uh, celebratory and festive and draws our members into a fellowship opportunity and invites newcomers to come get a first taste of what this church might be about. Excellent. That sounds very exciting. Um, what do you think is really required from the church to see these um, programs happen? Uh, I think, first of all, uh, kind of a common awareness that, uh, okay, folks, we've been very internally focused of, ne of necessity to do the work we needed to do here. Uh, and we're about to be finished with that. So let's uh, figure we're in good shape. Now it's time for us to give to the world beyond ourselves, to, to shift that focus and then with the shift in that focus to realize then that means some realignment of uh, funds and um, time and energy. And uh, how, how can the members and friends of BUC specifically help to see these, uh, this vision of a reality? Uh, start a conversation with me and with the staff and with the board leadership about it. Um, give us everything from ideas to cautionary words to suggestions, new ideas, ways to improve things we already do better in this, in this arena. But words are great. Uh, time and talents and uh, resources are even better. And by resources, you mean? I mean actually those pocketbooks. Right. The, uh, these new ventures, uh, 
We want to do them well. We don't want to do them just slapdash because this is a church that prizes excellence. And so uh, just because this is being offered outside our walls doesn't mean something less than excellent would be acceptable. And to do it really well uh, requires money. It doesn't come cheaply. But boy, when it is there, it pays off so wonderfully. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thanks.